if you're looking to visit, visit this stadium. They got to figure it out here. It's more than a buzz at Bryant Denny Stadium. It's electric. Here comes the tie. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again to talk about the rumors that's swirling around <clears throat> in Tuscaloosa. Okay, it's nothing official. It's just rumors. And those rumors are that Nick Saban is secretly and quietly searching for his next offensive coordinator. And if you are an Alabama fan, let's all hope and pray that it's true because this is well overdue. It's saying that Nick Saban and Bill O'Brien want to make a transition. The only transition Bill O'Brien need to be making is the hell out of Tuscaloosa. That is it. And where he go, me, I don't give a damn. And I'm sure if you're an Alabama fan, you don't give a damn either. But anyway, uh, there's quite a few names that this uh, article is talking about. You know where well, I'm mentioning, which we done mentioned those names too on the CTS Sports Room, all right? Uh, it's talking about uh, SMU's offensive coordinator, Garrett Riley, who has a great track record. Arkansas's offensive coordinator, Kendall Biles. I don't know much about him, but uh, I know that uh, Arkansas's offense can put up points. But, you know, I, I mostly contribute that to uh, their quarterback, K.J. Jefferson. But anyway, uh then it goes on to mention Joe Brady. Now, we all know how Joe Brady changed the LSU defense in 2019. It made a drastic turnaround, a total 360 from 2018 to 2019. And uh, he came in and, and basically made Joe Burrow a Heisman Trophy candidate and winner and a national uh, uh, champion. So, hey, we know we know uh, what Joe Brady can do. Um some other names they mentioned, Jason Garrett, you know, he was the head coach of the Cowboys, and now he's the offense coordinator with the uh, New York Giants. But uh, he's mostly, you know, NFL-type coordinator. And this article is stating that Nick Saban is preferring uh, college experience over NFL experience. But uh, it, did, it mentioned Jason Garrett and Freddie Kitchens. He was the head coach, I believe, of the Browns, I believe. And he's a former, I think, former quarterback from Alabama. Um, but guess what? I would rather have Garrett Riley or Joe Brady. If if you want to name the guys, you know, pick one of the guys that I just named. But then uh, it talks about Dan Mullen. You seen what he did at uh he did at uh Mississippi State. As a head coach, we all know he he got an offense coordinator background, but as a head coach, he did great at Mississippi State. Had him ranked number one at one time, but uh, you know Alabama spoiled that shit. But then again, uh, he went to Florida, had him in the SEC championship. So, you know, Dan Mullen, he's a pretty good head coach, but I'm telling you, he's a great offensive coordinator. Great offensive coordinator. Okay. So uh, let's not forget that. I wouldn't mind having Dan Mullen also. You already know I've said that several times. Either Dan Mullen or Joe Brady. But Gary Riley, he'll be a uh, he'll be a uh, great offensive coordinator at Alabama. Also, uh, also mentioned uh, Brian Johnson. He's the, he was an offensive coordinator at uh, Mississippi State in Florida. Uh, matter of fact, he's with the Eagles now. He's Jalen Hurts. Quarterback coach, young too. He's thirty-five years old, and you all see what he, what this Philadelphia Eagles offense is doing. Look, look like the best offense in all of the NFL to me. And Jalen Hurts is off the chain. Jalen, I'm telling you, Jalen Hurts is an MVP candidate or NFL MVP candidate. I'm telling you, and he might just win it. But uh, but that guy. He's doing great things with the Eagles. I don't know how much college experience he got. Uh, really, I didn't. This this really my first time hearing of it. 
But uh, I know what this uh, Eagles defense is doing. I mean, Eagles offense is doing and what, how Jalen Hurts is performing. So Jalen Hurts has took a big step in his, uh, his throwing ability, his accuracy from when he was in college. I mean, he took a step, you know, his last season at Alabama. He furthered. He got better throwing the ball at Oklahoma. But now in the NFL with the NFL uh, uh, coaching and tutelage, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Throwing the ball. Throwing the ball. But we all know he also can run and uh, score touchdowns with his legs. So those are the names that's swirling around, okay? Uh, Garrett Riley, um, Kendall, Kendall uh, Breeless, that's how you, how you say it, Arkansas's OC, Kendall Breeless, and Joe Brady. Those are the three main names, but then you got Jason Garrett and Freddie Kitchen swirling around, and there's also mentioned Dan Mullen and Brian Johnson. So, but anyway, Please help me and let's all pray that these rumors are true. I'm pretty sure that either one, either one of these guys, all of them, can do a better job than Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien is the worst thing that has ever happened to my Alabama Crimson Tide under Coach Nick Saban. And you all see the effects of it. A struggling, mediocre offense with the best quarterback in college football. And we still struggling. That's a damn shame. Okay? But uh, hopefully, it'll get better. And I know it will once Bill O'Brien is gone. So, it is what it is. We are, like I say, we got some great recruits coming in. Oh, let's also mention. All those transfers, all of them, except for two, three, is from the offensive side of the ball. I'm telling you, Bill O'Brien has created, this is just my opinion, but I'm pretty sure it's true. He done created a toxic environment when it comes to this offense. And that's probably why these guys, or so many offensive guys, is leaving my Alabama Crimson Tide, because they don't want to play for Bill O'Brien. But Nick Saban has yet to inform them that Bill O'Brien will not be there in 2023. So they're getting the hell up on out of there. But let's just hope that's the end of it. Okay, let's hope that's the end of it. But one thing I noticed, these rumors is only swirling around Bill O'Brien. It need to be some rumors swirling around Pete Golden also. <laughs> but we all know Pete Golden ain't going no damn well. I guess he's like a protege. He's the protege of Nick Saban. I mean, Jesus, man. Just like, uh, I, I guess that's that's Nick Saban's long lost son, I guess. I don't know because he won't get rid of that clown. But like I say, he needs to demote him. But anyway, that's the rumors going, uh, going on around Tuscaloosa. That uh, Nick Saban is quietly looking for his next uh, offensive coordinator. And uh, like I said, let's all hope it's true. And let's all hope that we can get a Garrett Riley, a Joe Brady, a Dan Mullen. You know, let, let, let's let's hope we can get, a, get get some guys like in there, like that at Alabama, to uh, give us a familiar looking offense that can put points on the board and blow teams out and not struggle every other damn game. But anyway, uh, that's all I got to say. Let's just hope that these, these rumors are true and uh, so we can get back to, to where we belong. And that's the top of the mountain, a national damn champion. Roll damn tide. <laughs>